I'd been eyeballing this evidence for hours. I was close to cracking the case wide open. What did it all mean? I was gonna make that sucker sing. But the case had other plans for me. body became cold. Cold as a hoochie coocher's heart. woke up with a bad taste in my mouth. Real bad. Oh. I needed a decent smoke, a stiff drink, and a lady to lay with. Not necessarily in that order. And some pudding. I was hungry as a hippo. Fiddlesticks. I was empty as a broad's head. Something deep down in my bones was tingling. I couldn't put my finger on it due to the intense tingling, but something was different. The stocks are up and they're down. Where's my little fish? I've got more questions than not questions. Why do all these people have their heads in the cement? Good thing my profession is questions. My goodness. They froze the kids. No. These newspapers are defective. I found myself in one nasty pickle.
another piece of the puzzle. I've been put on ice for 69 years, but why? The big cheese knew I was sniffing around his dirty laundry. They tried to put me on ice. Too bad for them. I don't like ice. Or laundry. Or cheese. I needed to retrace my steps from the beginning of time. But I didn't have that long. What I did have time for, though, was a smoke. Come on, just sell me one vape. Like I said, it's for my dad. No way, kid. I'm not falling for that fib. Ah. Being frozen for 69 years sure made me one stiff dick. You need some help there, bro? Name's Dick, and I'm all right. See, I told you, this is my dad. It's for him. I'm here for info. Short for information in my business. Not a problem, man. So, uh, what kind of smoke are you looking for? 69 years later and this place is still a smoke shop. I'm as lucky as a fishing rod. Real. He's looking for cotton candy. Yeah, and some popcorn and peanuts while you're at it. What kind of circus you running here? Is this really your kid, man? Yeah, yeah. Give him his cotton candy, I'll take a pack of Luckies. Lucky? Lucky what? This is a vape retailer. Vape and vape accessories only, buddy. How can you not sell cigarettes in a smoke shop and have any self-respect when you look in the mirror? Come on, Dad. Let's go home now. And that's how I got out of my second war. Whatever, mister. Why'd you help me out back there? Needed some info. It's short for information in my business. I've heard. You seem quick to what's happening in this crime-ridden town. I could use somebody like you, kid. What's your name? Name's Kid. I knew it. And you are? Detective Dick, P.I.E. <laughs> what's that one short for? What, the P.I.E.? Oh, you know, apple, peach, huckleberry. <laughs> Little industry humor there for you, kid. That one's free. Private investigator extraordinaire. That's me. OK, then, Detective Dick. What's the so-called info you're looking for? I know all the secrets in this town. If you need it, I can get it for a price. Seems I've been frozen for 69 years and woke up in the future, your present. You hiding from someone? The exact opposite, kid. I'm searching, searching for the big cheese. You know, I'm not cheap. If we solve this case, you'll be as rich as a triple layer chocolate cake, real rich. All right, Dick, I'm in. So you were working on the case of a missing woman. You tracked the bad guy to this company, but then the paper trail died? It's as if the scoundrel disappeared right off the face of the earth. You're right, I can't see him at all. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so this is the guy you're after? That's what the clues point to. I was on his tail, he knew I was nibbling through the meat of the case. He must have gotten scared and tried to bump me off. But why freeze you? Why send you to this time? It's hotter than a dame in a skirt in here, kid. Real hot. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but I'm sweating. <laughs> Perp that tried to freeze me wanted to freeze me for good. No coming back. They didn't count on a faulty air conditioning system in the middle of summer to thaw me out. You were in some deep shit, Dick. Don't curse, kid. That'll rot your teeth out. Instead, say, caca, or splashers, or big old stoolie, waterlog, little scuba divers, loaded dung, doo doo. Doo doo. Doo doo. That's it. Doo doo magoo. That's his name. Dudu Magoo. The perp is Dudu Magoo. It's a goon I was tracking in relation to the missing woman case. This is the man I need. Okay, cool. Let's give him a Google. A giggle? Oh, yeah, you're an old guy. We need to get you one of these. What is that, a black box? It's a mobile phone. Mobile, like a payphone. Well, that's 
indispensable to a detective such as myself. I think I'm going to need one of those. That's fine, but it also does a lot of other cool stuff. You can go on the thing called the internet. Who is the internet? It's not a who, it's a what. Dang, I got a text from my mom. I got to be home in an hour. She'll freak if I'm not home in time. All right, kid. Run home to your mom. I'm going to go dig into this doo-doo. You don't even know where to look. You'll probably end up getting run over by a car or something. As long as cars still top out at 40 MPH, I'll be fine. Before I go home, we seriously need to bring you into the new age. Let's go. That's her. That innocent looking little girl. Innocent? Darcy's two steps away from running this playground. She doesn't look that tough to me. Play it cool, Dick, and let me do the talking. None of that freezing doo doo talk here, got it? What are you? Keen on this girl? Keen? What? I'm here to help you. <laughs> okay, I get it. All right. Stop it. Remember, cool. What's going on, Darcy? Give us the information. Dick! You're telling me who is this Dick? It's Mr. Dick to you, young lady. Is this a joke? Sorry, he's with me. Taking in charity work, I see. Only charity we're dishing out are knuckle sandwiches, and you're first in the bread line. Get out! Wait! Listen! I need to hook him up with two lemonades and a double lemon raisin cookie. Yeah, food from 70 years ago sounds better than that. Two lemonades and a double lemon raisin cookie with foo foo berries on top, please. These cookies look worse than they sound. That's because they're phones. They're clean. Unlocked, untraceable, serial number filed off. No way these make it back to you. Unless you're sloppy. Hello. Oh, well, hello. How are you? Excellent. What is your name? My name is Nancy, but you knew that already. No, no, I didn't know that. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. I'll give you a minute. <laughs> Nancy, I have a question for you. You like baseball? I need a favor. Nice to see you again, too. There's something rank about this guy. I agree. You sure he's not a cop? No, he's too smart to be an actual cop. What do you need? Just the phone. It's never just the phone. He's worth something. I feel it deep down in my bones. Same deal as usual? You're lucky I like you, kid. Found something you like? I would like this dear woman Nancy to be mine. Top notch selection, man. Well, how do we settle up? Kids got you. you swell. Nancy, there? I'm sorry. I was just tidying up. Yeah, no problem, doll. Let's get down to business, all right? What is the internet? Okay, here is what I found. Shut up, Nance. That's way too many words for me. I like your speed, though. Find me Doodle Magoo. Okay. Here is what I found. Put your finger on the screen and flick your finger to move it around. Don't talk dirty to me, kid. We've been over that. Just tap on the things to make it open. It's easy. I'm a detective. I would have figured it out. So the guy has a Twitter? He's what, like 90 years old? I don't even know how to use a Twitter. Is that a bird? No, it's a social website. It's honestly too much to even bother explaining to you. Look, I really need to head home now. Do you want to come with me? Is there going to be grub? I could really use a home-cooked meal. Yeah, probably. I mean, it is dinner time. Nancy, you want to go to dinner with me? No. Yeah, sure this is a sport guy. 
It's like an awful lot of touch em up, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And like I said, it's mixed martial arts. So when's dinner, Dad? Mr. Dick and I have a lot of work to do. We'll eat whenever your mother says it's ready. You'll have plenty of time for your tutoring later. You better be worth the price, Dick. I'd felt this stare before. Stare of a man that doesn't quite trust me. I take my time tutoring my students, guy. It's my code. Dinner is ready, guys. You too, guy. Uh, any apps? I'd love apps. You don't even know what that means. Well, if there's one thing I miss from back home, it's the appetizers. I mean, crab dip, spinach dip, onion dip. I like my dips. That sounds disgusting. Watch your mouth, kid. He just doesn't know. Back in my day, the only problem with appetizers was that you couldn't finish them before they all went bad, you know what I mean? And what day is that, Mr. Dick? Oh, you'll have to excuse my husband. He can be so nosy. That's all right, Miss Lady. I've never condemned a man for having a nose. Anyway, thanks for fixing up the meal, lady. Yeah, thank you for uh, inviting me into your home, with your beautiful family, this wonderful meal you prepared. It's no problem at all. I love company. Would you like to lead us in prayer, Dick? Yeah, of course, sure. Let's, uh, let's hold hands. <clears throat> so, uh, good friends, good meat, good God, let's eat. So, what do you do when no one is looking, Mr. Dick? Oh, you know, murder mysteries, damsels in distress. Are those video games? Kid always has his head in his play box. No, it's no game, Miss Lady. I'm hunting the big freezer, the one that... Hunting, huh? <laughs> Sounds like you're a real straight shooter, Mr. Dick. I never miss a shot, guy. FPS. First person shooter. Well, there's never a second shooter if the first one hits, right? <laughs> Maybe you can teach Kid here a thing or two about staying on the straight and narrow. You can count on me to crack that case. Hey, uh, shouldn't we get to studying? Yeah, he's right. The case is still at hand. Mom, can I be excused? Of course, kid. Work hard on your studies now. Okay, so we need to check this Twitter page again. Guy definitely likes weird Twitter. There's no way he's a crusty old man. He's gotta be a young guy. Uh, peacocks, cockatoos, how do weird birds make him young? No, I just mean he likes making weird jokes. A guy that was alive in 1946 is either dead or old as crap. He's not making jokes on Twitter, especially weird ones. So there's another Magoo, a weird one apparently. A relative or a son, perhaps? More likely great-grandson. He's definitely young. As I suspected. <clears throat> Nancy, giggle me the great-grandson of Doodle Magoo. Okay, take a look at what I found. Eh. Ain't she the smartest damn? She's just a chatterbot. Ah, uh, women love to talk, but this one's got a great rack. She doesn't have a rack, Dick, and all she did was bring us back to the Twitter page again. You yeah. know, let's get the app on your phone. We'll create you an account, and we'll try to DM the guy. <laughs> what? A bowel movement? No, DM, not BM. It's just a message someone. I'm not allowed to use Twitter. My dad says it's full of liberals, so we'll have to create you an account. Well, of course, I never trusted that farm boy Truman. So what do you want your username to be? Who's gonna use my name? I just need an alias. Dick, P-I-E. At Dick Pie. That name's already taken. What scoundrel is using my name? No, just the handle. I'll handle him. It doesn't matter, I'll try something else. At Dick Pie 69. At Detective Dick. At Dick Gumshoe. It worked. You're officially real bad dick. I like it. I am bad. Real bad. Yeah, I know. Hello, I'm an old friend of your grandfather. Can you tell me where his house is? I've been trying to find him for some time. We were old buddies. Thank you. Okay, now we wait to see if he takes the bait. <laughs> Seafood is stupid. 
So we're bad guys. Should probably get going. My mom will get suspicious if I'm up studying too late. So keep checking your Twitter to see if he responds. I'll text you tomorrow. Good work today, kid. I got my nose in the butt of the scoundrel that farted all over this case. Yep. Mm-hmm. That was definitely the weirdest thing I've heard you say all day. Yeah, well. Nancy, do you know my name? I don't know who you are, but you can tell me. This operator was playing hard to get. Maybe I should take this dame for a night on the town, show her a good time, and give her a tumble under the sheets. Call me Dick. Detective Dick. Okay. I will call you Dick, Detective Dick. All right, well, do me a favor, doll. Open up the Twitter appetizer. Okay, Dick, Detective Dick. I came across a note that said there should be no penalties in football. No replays, no ball. Just shove each other for 60 minutes. Winners determined by fan vote. The future was seeming stranger by the minute. Bingo. He'd fallen for the trap like a blonde falls for a hot dick such as myself. Easily and hard. I arrived at the street of walls to find out they were selling the yard. And once they found a buyer for the roof, there wouldn't be anything left of this place. Messaged the one Duda Magoo with an appetizer last night. I was told to meet at this address. Yeah, that's me. He, you're here for pop-up stuff, right? Yeah, that's right. You can call me Dick, Detective Dick. You can call me Magoo, Duda Magoo. Oh, all right. Uh, my pleasure. Uh, well, his stuff's right over there, so. Oh yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I um, that's uh, thank you. <laughs> I had found a business card for a company called Tomorrow's Future Today. Fishy. And I hate fish. I realized that whoever this Vic chump was, he must have hired Magoo way back when. Hired him to take me out. Not out for some expensive dinner, I mean out in the killing sense. June 10th, 1946. There's been a fella snooping around lately. Some nobody P.I. by the name of Richard D. Dick. Vic told me there's a pot of gold waiting for me if I bump him off. I'd managed to piece together a large part of the pie. Magoo was the guy that put me on ice. Nancy, get me kid on the line. Calling kid. 
Detective, what's up? Uh, I, I don't know, that, that sky, that big hunk of rock and fire we call the sun? What, what's this nonsense? I'm, I didn't call you to talk about the weather, kid. I got a valuable clue. How quickly can you be at my office? Actually, I'm already here. Ah, quick thinking, kid. Stay on your toes. Yeah, I found a great clue. <laughs> hey, wait! Yo! You gotta pay for that! Someone's been digging around. You're quick. Yeah, didn't trip up once. Hey, kid. I got something good here. Yeah, me too. What'd you find? Well, I got these two top-notch clues from Duda Magoo's place. Unfortunately, he's dead. Kind of figured he's a dinosaur. Wait, what? Dinosaurs are back? You know, I bet this Vic person has something to do with that missing woman's case. He probably knew some shady stuff that was going on with whatever that business is. So they got rid of him. And they tried getting rid of you too when you were snooping around. Yeah. Like I said. Yeah, of course you did. So our next step is to find that Vic Vickerson dude and figure out what that business card is for. Sounds like a job for my new girlfriend. You? You have a girlfriend? Yeah. Her name is Nancy. Say hello, Nancy. Hello. I've told you before, Dick. That's just a chatterbot. It's not a person. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all. Nancy, giggle me a place called Tomorrow's Future Today. OK. Here is what I found. Here, let me do it. It's coming up pretty dead, too. Yeah, as dead as Big Daddy Vic Vickerson's gonna be. Nancy, you giggle me the name Vic Vickerson. Okay, Dick Detective. Dick? Cool, the guy whose unique name pop right up. <laughs> Dude doesn't have any photos. What a loser. Yeah. <laughs> Says he was born in 1985, so he's 30. Dude doesn't have any photos, but obviously doesn't care about his privacy. He checked into his location 30 minutes ago. He's probably still there. Which hotel did he check into? No, like he checked into his location online. He put a map to his location. Well, let's make like a map and check in. <sighs> let's go find the poker room. You fools ready to read them and weep? No way, Vic. Not this time, bro. Yeah, I know. I've got you beat. All right. Let's see how the river flows. Pair of threes. Man, you win again, Vic. You're the real MVP. Yeah, totally big card shark. It's only natural that I'd win. It's a game of skill. So, uh, Vic, you gonna tell us what we're doing here? What's this? 
It's a revolution. The one that has catapulted humans into the new world. The dawn bringers of a new age. Tomorrow's future, today. And what does this uh, revolution do? Apps, my friend. Apps for the betterment of mankind. I've never made apps before. Oh no, you won't be the brains, you'll be the brawn. I'm chief of security. I've known you fellas for a while now, and I think you nameless bros would be a great fit for the company. All you have to do is sign on the dotted line. This line looks pretty solid to me. Who the hell are you? Detective Richard D. Dick, you can call me your worst nightmare. Leave us. Come, sit. So, you're Detective Dick. You know me after all. Who's the kid? Who's the kid? I'm the brains of this operation. I've got some questions for you. Oh! Tough kid you got there, Dickie. He can't possibly be yours. Cut the crap, Vic. It's time to get to the heart of this artichoke. If you want anything out of me, you'll have to beat me. Beat you with what? War. I'm not one for violence against women. You mean like the card game? Exactly. Okay, what's this card? I don't know what this card game is. What's she talking about? War is easy, Dick. Split the deck into two. Each of you keep your deck face down. You and your opponent will flip the top card in your deck face up. Whoever has a higher card number wins. <laughs> Not off to a good start there, Dickie. When you win, you get to keep your card and your opponent's card. Whoever gets all the cards wins. Think you got what it takes to beat me? I'm gonna beat you like a hobo beats a hangover. Sheer determination and perseverance. You're on. Put this all on the line here, Dickie. Whoever wins this, wins it all. Kid, what do I do now? We'll flip one more card at the same time, but this one goes face up. Whichever is the highest, wins. And you can't possibly win this one. Give us a count, kid. One. Two. Three. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> Success. Ridiculous, I never lose. I'm the MVP. Yeah, well I took you out, Vic. Now give us the info. That one's short for information. Okay, I'm an honorable gambler. What do you want to know? Back in the 40s, you hired a dude magoo to bump me off, did you not? I did. Yes. And you're still young because you froze yourself, preserving your body for 40 years. She did? I did. Smart kid you got there, Dick. Mm. Well, you're not the only one like you, you know? People have been on ice for years. You're just one of the originals. Why do you still look so young? Well, the icing process keeps your body looking nice and fresh. It's an iceberg. Well, tell me why you froze me for 69 years. Oh, I don't know, Dickie. I just work security. I do what I'm told. So what can you tell us? Find this guy. He goes by the name George. Your cooperation is appreciated, Vic. And we bid you a good day.
Kid and I had made our way to what appears to be a restaurant. We needed to review the case. I was gonna need coffee. I think that was way too easy, Dick. Nonsense. My keen detective skills let us right to the answer, and the answer's another question. Who is George? Come on, there's no way. That doesn't add up. I bet this George dude is just a dead end. Well, let's not worry about that now. There's another question that doesn't add up. What Kid didn't know was that I hate math. When I went to your office, I noticed three fishy things. The only thing I hated more than math was fish. One, I noticed some evidence was missing from your board. Two, your desk was all cleaned up. And three, I found this. The janitor came to tidy up. That doesn't ring fishy in my ears. Okay, I can understand the janitor cleaning up your desk, but why steal evidence from us? That doesn't add up. The kid wouldn't shut up about math. Now, go on with your theory. All right, the one about the woman. If you say anything more about fish or math, I'm gonna give you five across the eye. Yeah, okay. So originally, you got yourself into this mess because you were hired to solve a missing persons case. The disappearance of a woman, what was her name? Jan. Never got her last name. Right, so she probably had an in with this business thing called Tomorrow's Future Today. Vic got rid of her, then shortly after, she froze herself so that she could come to the future. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard, kid. But go on. Well, they have a goal, and I think I know what it is. And I think our missing woman, Jan, does too. I tried Googling the names, and I came across this app. The app claims it can read people's minds. This case is as dirty as a blonde's mind. Dirty. Real dirty. Crap, it's getting late. I gotta get home. While I'm on top of this case, you head on home. I'm gonna go pay this George Beller a little visit. Okay, text me if you get into any trouble. The kid was smart. He had a lot of questions. Had some sort of fetish for math and fish, but he'd grow out of it. Who are all these people? What did it all mean? And why did the appetizer cost 12 smackaroos? Hands low, thumbs down, feet shoulder width apart. Breathe in, wiggle the hips. Be the ball, visualize it in the hole. Breathe out, stroke the ball home. Ah, pulled the ball. So you like balls, do you, George? Hey, it's a big idea sneaking up on me like that. It's not nice. There's no room for nice guys in my line of work. Yeah? Line of work would that be? I'm a private investigator extraordinaire. Name's Dick. Detective Dick. All right, Dick. It's your beef coming out here scaring me like that. I'm no meat man. I'm just a man looking for info. Short for information. Can you tell me about this? UB coding, 128 point font, Times New Roman. Looks like you had a run in with Vicky. Yeah, I beat her fair and square, now I'm here for my reward. I don't know I should send you to me. I don't even work for her anymore. I'm just a regular retired Why guy. Why are you retired? What's Vic up to? Where's Jan the missing dame? What's going on here? Whoa, dude. Whoa. That's way too many questions. I need a moment. Never leave home without it. It seems my line of questioning had broken this incredibly large man. He's broken. Let's do this. 
What's that smell? Sweet smell of justice. Now let's get down to business. Vicky. Yeah, I was basically a bodyguard for, you know, a bro. It's not fulfilling work, but it pays pretty well. For how long? A few years at least, until... Until that day. What day? Vicky, she, uh... Look, you can't tell anybody about this, okay? Nobody. I'm a detective. All my conversations are classified. Detective's honor. She caught me at my gardening club. What's wrong with gardening? That's what I said! It builds character. It's fantastic for the environment. That mulch ain't gonna move itself. Exactly. It is a great upper body workout. Cut it to me straight. Did she try and have me killed? Oh, I don't know anything about a murder plot. It didn't really sound like Mickey anyway. Besides, she's not even in charge of the TFT. The who? This place? Business? Whatever it is? Anyway, she's not in charge. Then who is? I don't know. I think it's a woman. Uh... Jan! Jan, that was the name. Jan, the missing dame. Yeah, anyway. Those people think they're gonna change the world or something. I just try to stay out of whatever it was they were doing. I'm just here to guard stuff, that's it. What kind of stuff? Yeah, microwaves mostly. You did good, George. Now it's time for me to piece this pie together. Ooh, I love pie. So how are we supposed to do it? That's not my problem. You're both getting a raise for this thanks to your son's accidental involvement with Detective Dick. You'll figure it out. Our son isn't going to be hurt, is he? We're not in the business of violence, lady. We've gotten our way over the years much better means. Don't worry about the safety of your son. All you two have to keep in the front of your precious little minds is what we talked about today. Capiche? Nancy is the finest operator I'd ever known. I wonder if she did... Holy guacamole! Kid, what are you doing inside Nancy? Get out of her this instant! She is my lady! Remember to keep an eye on your son. He's invaluable to my what is plans this for Portal, Detective what are your Dick. parents doing in there? Nancy? Nancy, did you leave me? Did you abandon me? Have I wronged you? Why does this always happen to me with the dames? We'll make sure your message is delivered, Jan. Hello? 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 Kid, what's going on? What can I help you with, Dick Detective Dick? Oh, Nancy. You're such a gas. I never met a broad like you before. More pasta for you, my darling? No, I'm gluten-free. <laughs> yeah, even I know that's a bunch of malarkey. <laughs> ah! This again? Dick, did you get all that? All of what? Where's Nancy? What'd you do with Nancy? I put you on a video call. Stop speaking gibberish to me, kid. Listen, Dick. There was a weird woman at my house my parents called Jan. No, 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 that's not her. Jan's missing. Well, I think I just found her. Well, what would she be doing at your house, kid? I don't know, but I have a horrible feeling that my parents have something to do with all this. Listen, just get your butt over here. We need to talk about this. I didn't know what kid was talking about. It sounded suspicious. Real suspicious. I decided to play along. All right, kid. You got it. What am I gonna do? Oh, kid! You seem surprised to see me. No, no, I uh, just wanted to check if you were home, and you are. So, would you like some lunch? Sure, Mom. Cool. Lunch. Kid was in his room. What? 
I thought he was out. Well, he's not anymore. Did he see her? I don't think so. I'm sure it's fine. Well, that ruins plan A then. Drat. Big time drat. How do we get to the detective? Mr. Dick? Perfect timing. I laid there for a moment to ponder Guy's statement. Was it really a good time? By my watch, it was only two o'clock. Nothing good ever happens at two. Dick? Ah, yes. Uh, right. I'm here for kid? Sure, sure. Come on in. Thank you. You remember my wife, Lady? Yes, of course. Very nice to see you again, ma'am. Kid had said some curious stuff to me about Lady and Guy. I needed to dig deeper. Detective Dick Deep. So, what do you folks do for a living? I'm a novelist. And I own an auto body shop not far from here. Not suspicious at all. Do you know uh, a missing woman named Jan? Nope. Never heard of her. I had come to the conclusion that neither guy nor lady were suspicious. My ace detective skills were sharp today. Sharp as a sharp object. <laughs> Kid's in his room if you want to go talk to him now. Hi, nice, sir. Uh, thank you. It's been a pleasure seeing you again, ma'am. Real sharp. Is the food ready, Mom? I'm no mother, kid. Dick! Finally! I should have known it was you by the thud of the body hitting the ground. As I looked in the kid's eyes, I saw something more than a boy. I saw a liar. A liar who was a young boy. A boy by the name of Kid. You got something to tell me, Kid? Yes. I know I saw that Jan woman. The missing one? I think she's after you. Cut the crap, Kid. I'm under your plots and schemes. Trying to distract me? Get on my good side? Turn a blind eye to the case? What are you talking about? I had a little conversation with your dear old ma and pa. And? Oh, just your normal everyday garbage. But my keen detective skills told me they ain't hiding nothing. You're wrong, Dick. I know you are. I know what I saw. I sent you a video. Don't play mind games with me, kid. Nobody twists my noodle but me. You won't win. My mind is like a roller coaster of intelligence. You cannot catch me. Stop acting tough and smart and just listen to me for two seconds. I think my parents are working for the enemy, and I think it's Jan. And they're going to come after you if we don't do something about it. Nah, nonsense. Never question a detective, kid. I'm the one that does the questioning. Yeah, but Dick... I'd made it this far with my quick wits. But I could see it in Kid's booger-filled eyes that he was up to no good. I had to drop him like a case of tuberculosis. And that's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, 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 that's all well and good. But nobody plays me for a sucker, Kid. Nobody. Sucker. Nobody. Dick, please. You don't understand. I'm just trying to help. You're off the case, kid. Now stay out of my way. Kid had gotten on my bad side. Nobody wants to be on my bad side. It's bad. Real bad. Nancy, you're the only thing I got left in this crazy futuristic world. I can help you with that. <laughs> can you really? I'm all out of sorts. That kid was the best damn friend I ever had. And you went and betrayed me. You still love me though, don't you, Nance? I respect you. <laughs> Nancy, I need a little bit more than respect right now.
one day declare my life vacation. Like when you retire? And no, I don't think that far ahead. I was thinking more later this week. Just quit work, steal a boat, and sail away. Wow, so you're gonna be a pirate. Search your Now where did my dick run off to? I'd been stuffed into a smelly shoebox, hands tied, no idea where I was headed. Bottom of a lake or a shallow grave. Unless I do some detectiving. How's it going, Dicky? Who the hell are you people? Great question, Dick. Hey, knock it off back there. Jeez, bro, I'm trying to do some work here. Don't say my name. <sighs> Let's do this, Vicky. Don't say my name. That's why we're wearing masks, you big bug. <sighs> Grab the stuff and let's do this. What do you think you're gonna do to me, huh? I can take a hit. We're not in the business of violence, Dick. Locked and loaded. How long's it been, Dickie, huh? 69 years, bet you've been itching for a smoke. If it itches on you, those things are defective. They don't do a thing. <sighs> don't they now? Here's a taste of the future, just in case. I'm on the case. Hold him still, bro. I'm driving. Not you, I meant George. Hey, I'm trying. He's one slick dick. And don't say my name. What are you loose doing? Smoke up, Dickie. Hey, you're filming for I want my luggage. Hold his nose. <sighs> That's it, Dickie. Smoke on him. Take it all in. What's happening? Night, night, sweet prince. Hello, sir. Nice to see you're awake. Don't get any ideas, Toots. Spoken for by my nans. Hello, Dick Detective Dick. Ah, oh, Nancy. 
I think we need to discuss what happened here. All right, well, I just, I want you to just give it to me straight, all right? Am, am I gonna walk again? Walk? There's nothing wrong with your legs. You suffered a nicotine overdose and are in the hospital recovering. We didn't find any identification on your body when the ambulance brought you in, but you were found lying unconscious in the middle of the street. Since you're awake and your vitals look fine, you'll be discharged shortly, but I have to warn you against the dangers of smoking. <laughs> the, the dangers of smoking? Are, are you sure you're not the one feeling a little sick, Doc? I'm not a doctor. Of course you're not. But thank you for your help. You are a doll. Uh, seriously, but I, I need to get in touch with my girlfriend. If you could just give me a moment. No problem, sir. Nancy, Nancy baby, I need your help. How can I help you, Dick Detective Dick? Giggle search me a missing woman named Jan. None of this makes any sense. Dang it, Jan, where are you? Darn it. Nancy, how do you spell janitor? J-A-N-I-T-O-R. The disappearance of a woman? What was her name? Jan. Jan, that was the name. Never heard of her. I think she's after you. I found this. Never got her last name. I knew where I needed to go. Janet been under my nose since the beginning. I never thought a missing woman might not actually be missing. Jen hadn't just been under my nose. She'd been toying with me. I had to get to Jan. This case wouldn't be solved until I found the missing woman that started it all. You have arrived at Jan's janitorial. We did exactly as you asked. Dick is being tracked as we speak. And your son guy? Where is he? H he's in his room. Are you positive on that one guy? <sighs> he's gone. That's what I thought. The two of you get to my office now. Don't make me come find you. The boy. Bring him to me. Soon I will monologue all of this. Everything I've done will be out in the open, and I need everyone involved to hear it. When I ran into the building, I saw George doing a crossword puzzle. Looked like I was gonna have to take him out. Hello, Richard. Nice to see you again, Georgie. Only my mother calls me that, and you ain't my mother. And then how about you call me mommy and we get this show on the road? Where is she, huh? Jan. The woman I found. Oh. <laughs> Top floor, you hang a right next to the second set of bathrooms the ATM machine. I don't have time for any more machines. Well, buddy boy, you're gonna have to get through this machine of man meat if you want to get upstairs. All right. 
I'm ready for you, Georgie boy. Oh no, Richard. I'm a man of peace now. Well, um, what, what'll it be then? <laughs> I challenge you to 18 holes of the greatest game God ever created for this country. Mini golf. Sounds logical. You're on. Let's drop the puck. Dig six nine. I thought I smelled your fishiness, and I hate fish. So how was your little trip to the hospital? How would you know about that? Check your pocket. Hmm, what is it, candy? That little device has been tracking you this whole time. It means that we've been able to figure out exactly where you are at all times. We knew you'd be here. No, I knew you'd be here. Now, get out of my way, Toots. Oh, come on, Dickie. Fight me. Oh, nah, I can't do that. You're a woman. So what? Well, men don't hit women because they're weak. They're weak? Yeah, weak. Like a pretty little flower all weighed down by the Sunday morning dew. Weak. Oh, is that so? Yeah, that is so. So, if you'll just allow me to pass. All right. Only because you're being a gentleman about it. Go ahead. There I was again, on the floor, waking up with a bad taste in my mouth. Real bad. At this point, I hardly knew what was going on, but I knew I was gonna get to the bottom of it. I'm a question man looking for answers. Thanks for the surprise party, but my birthday's not till Friday. I'll be a 102. Nice to see you can still do arithmetic after all that brain freeze you must be suffering from. Don't accuse me of being arthritic. My bones are fine. Now who the crud are you, lady? I'm Kid's mom. Not you, lady. This lady. The name's Jan. Jan Etor. Etor? What is that, German? I don't like Germans. Haven't you put it together yet, you frozen fool? Oh, yeah. Jan, the missing woman. Jan, the miss. Jan, the missing woman. I, I found you. You couldn't find your hands if you put them in your pockets. 
Why would I want to hide my own hand? Oh, you really were the perfect candidate for our initial freezing experiments. No risk of possible brain trauma. I only have one question. Only one. What are all these people doing here and why is Kid tied up? That's two questions, dummy. We never meant for things to go this far. Be quiet. Yes, lady. Do as your husband says. Your presence here is just another piece of the pie for me. Kid, I thought you were on the bad side. If you'd listen to me for 10 seconds, you know I've always been on your side, Dick. Kid's words flowed through me like prunes. The end result came out of me quick. Was this what true partnership feels like? <laughs> oh, Dick! You're too dull to see you and the answers are staring you right in the face. How does it feel? Crummy. Crummy is the bottom of a bag of chocolate chip cookies, but I think I know what I'm staring at. And what might that be? A mad woman. A woman obsessed with the future. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm about, Detective. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. I had to ask the ultimate question. What's going on here? Oh, I am so glad you asked that, Detective. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you know how many detectives were put on the case of poor old Miss and me? Yeah, just me. wrong -o. It was every detective in this stinking town. Every last one of them. But guess what? I was right here the whole time. If we fabricated the missing woman's case, then detectives all over town would be distracted. Why would you do something that annoying? I needed a way to make sure people would forget about what I was up to. Detectives always love a damsel in distress. She was right. A damsel in distress was a hot commodity in my line of work. Jan knew what she was doing. Yeah, well, I know what you were working on, Jan. And what's that, Dick? The freezing technology. The technology that put me on ice. Wow, Dick, I'm impressed. Do you know what else I was working on? That stupid mind control app. Even the kid seems to know more than you. He was the one that found my office first, after all. It's not exactly hard when a van pulls up that says Jan's janitorial on it. Bro forgot to get the rental. That's besides the point. You would have made a great detective back in the day, kid, truly. Well, I don't give two farts what you think. Okay, kid. Now, here's the ultimate question of ultimate questions that we've been throwing back and forth for my two favorite detectives. Why? Why go through all this trouble? Can you put the clues together? Take over the world. You froze yourself so that you can come to the modern age of technology because you were the first person to invent mind control. You wanted to design an app so that you could control the minds of people so that you could take over the world. Nailed it. Oh, so close, boys. You're right, kid. I did freeze myself on purpose. I came up with the first mind control device back in the 1940s. Alas, my plans were too monstrous back then. I needed the technology of the future to put it all together. I had to bring myself into the digital age. And you unfroze Dick on purpose, didn't you? Another point for the kid. You're really losing this game here, Dick. What did you need me for? You were the biggest idiot detective I had ever seen, and I wanted someone like you to see my plans finally come to fruition. A little game of cat and mouse to span a lifetime. So what's your goal here, huh? World domination? No, Detective Dork. You already guessed that. Something even more amazing. Something I think after 69 years, you'll truly appreciate. Appetizers. What? Yes, the world's greatest frozen apps ever. You see, in the 1940s, appetizers were at an all-time high. Crab dip, spinach dip. Don't forget onion dip. People almost did, but I wasn't going to let that happen. With technology at the apex of its powers here in the future, I knew I could further develop my mind control device then everyone would want to eat my frozen appetizers. 
Once I had the freezing algorithm down pat, all I needed were some test subjects. And what better subjects are there than humans? Uh, I don't know. Mice, bats, literally anything else. I knew it all along. And though I can appreciate your love of frozen food starters, I still have a job to do. All that's left to do now is have my sweet Nancy call 911 and the police will be here before you know it. Calling 911. Oh, no, Nancy, I wasn't really quite ready for you to go ahead. Nancy. Nancy, my sweet Nancy, no! Love. Goodbye, Dick, Detective Dick. Oh, how classic. He fell in love with his phone. Dick, you gotta get up. You're a detective. You need to take them down. Please, I still need you. That's it. I'm taking you down, Jan. This is a detective's arrest. It's time to put this cold case on ice. Oh, really? And how are you planning on doing that? for unfreezing us and allowing us to escape that icy closet. You did it, Detective. Who are you? We're a group of PIs that Janet put on ice back in the day. We just put all this together about five minutes ago down in the hall. Really? That quick? Well, you know, I, I've been here, but I uh, guess there's no reward for first place, huh? No, in most cases there is. Ah, whatever. Go get him, Tiger. Hey, kid. Hey, Dick. What do you say we make like a map and get out of here? I couldn't agree more. My abs! Oh, my delicious abs! My life's work foiled by a filthy, frozen gumshoe! Damn you, Detective Dick! Damn you! All right, Dick, we're taking this lot down to the station. Thank you for all your help. You're a real swell guy, true detective. You're a real hero. Hero? <laughs> I'm no hero. I had a case to solve. Dick always gets his man. Or woman. Can you speak? Uh, yeah. No, yeah. I just was uh, monologuing to myself. Happens to the best of us. You really are a hero, Dick. I'm glad you made it here in time. You know, kid. I'm sorry about all the trouble I put you through. Never had a partner before. Partner? Yeah. You're a hell of a detective, kid. With the help of my partner, kid, and my poor long lost girl, Nancy, I had solved the case of the missing woman. Now what do we do, detective? We go back to the office, detective, kid. There's always another case to solve. <laughs>